Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love. You can book your own personal private reading with me on my website, psychicbellalove.com. All the information will be linked in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow on Station Head. We do all the readings and talk about all the stuff we can't talk about over here because let's just go over a few things real quick. <laughs> Talking about anybody underage is a big red flag. Um, can't touch conspiracy theories. Can't say a lot of words. Can't talk about, you know, the uh, penny that we all in the middle of. So we have to do that kind of stuff over there. And we did touch on Erica Banks earlier. So if you guys were looking for some sort of reading on her, we did it this morning on Station Head. Also, of course, Pink Fridays is a thing that happens every week over here. And then also on Sunday on Station Head, we are going to do a watch party of the Harry and Meghan interview on Oprah and talk about it. And then I will make a list of your guys' questions to do readings on it the next day because I know we all going to have a lot of questions. <laughs> so this is actually, I just want to, I know nobody requested this. I will take requests again soon, but I am not right now because I'm trying to get through the rest of them. But I've been watching so many videos, you know, about like the Britney Spears conservatorship. And then, of course, Amanda Bynes is under one as well. And they all connect back to Lou M. Taylor, who also tried to put Lindsay Lohan on a conservatorship. And it just feels like there's a lot of mysterious nefarious bad shit going on with her so i just wanted to take a look real quick and see like is she gonna get canceled what is gonna happen is she gonna face any legal issues behind all of this because like why are you saying that you're managing celebrities but then also getting a bunch of them under conservatorships so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that please join me and answer any questions that we have in regards to the talent manager Lou Taylor spirit this is the person who has put several famous people with mental health um, issues under conservatorship just want to know what do you have to say spirit is she a good person is she not what do we need to know thank you spirit for joining us we're asking only with the intention and purpose of clarity and understanding not with any bad intent please bless and protect all who ask about this reading as well as all who participate and watch thank you spirit amen what is the deal with lou m taylor thank you And oh my God, y'all. I forgot what a crackhead Sandra Lee, you know, the, the semi-homemade lady was. I was like, I don't know why it popped up on my recommended today. It was Emmy Made in Japan, um, which excellent channel, by the way, you guys should go watch. But <laughs> she was testing a Kwanzaa cake recipe from Sandra Lee. Okay, first of all, like the way that Emmy handled that was amazing because she educated you on Kwanzaa and what it was all about and everything and pointed out the fact that Sandra didn't say shit about it. But this lady literally made an angel food cake topped with chocolate frosting, apple pie filling, and then put corn nuts and pumpkin seeds on it. I was like, okay, I don't know like a whole lot about what people eat at Kwanzaa, but I know for sure that no black person I know be eating that bullshit. <laughs> Oh God, I was just like, excuse me. Like, I don't know anybody that would want to eat that. It just looked like the most disgusting thing in the whole entire world. But you guys definitely should check out Emmy Made in Japan. I love like watching her channel. I'm not even like a huge, like let's watch all the cooking videos kind of person. But for some reason, I really love her channel. Alrighty. Okay, so the first thing that we're getting here is, okay, so when Brittany, you guys, um, I don't know if you know this, but Lou was like 
sending Brittany weird stuff and everything. And Brittany had called her lawyers and said, you know, this lady's stalking me. She's trying to scare me. She's sending me stuff saying that I have a curse on me and I need to get cleansed. And the lady was sending her like butterflies and, and pictures of kittens and everything. And Brittany was like really freaked out by her. And then all of a sudden this lady's like buddy buddy with like, you know, the Spears clan and being a representative spokesperson for the family right before, you know, Brittany had whatever happened, you know, that caused her to end up in the conservatorship. And so, cause I don't wanna say, you know, we don't even know like definitively what they have supposedly diagnosed Brittany with or any of like what's really going on there. So we're not gonna, you know, just say things and make assumptions, whatever. But I do get in here with this Three of Swords, the Empress being Brittany because she was a new mom then, and this Eight of Swords, there was a concerted effort to cause her mental anguish, to take advantage of the situation that she knew that she was under so that they, this person could benefit financially and they're very deceptive. With this Justice card and this Palace of Wands though, this is talking about, you know, now that obviously we have are all starting to pay a lot more attention and understanding really like what really took place you know, with these, with the Free Britney movement, with the documentaries coming out, and there's definitely going to be more. And I know that the Framing Britney Spears documentary, they are going to do a sequel, but Spirit saying there's going to be even more that come out in the meantime, even so much as just people on YouTube and social media putting clips together, but there's going to be even more and more and more attention coming onto this whole situation because of the public's love for Britney and really seeing and understanding how much she was mistreated. So because of this, there is going to be a concerted effort of people working together to try to bring this lady to justice. Now the four of swords, that's the imprisonment card. So I do feel like she is going to end up, you know, getting punished for this. And this was all a money grab. She just saw an opportunity because really the other things that she had attempted with this <laughs> chariot, the 10 of cups, it's like she wasn't able to just make it as a talent manager until she was able to kind of weasel her way in by doing the things that she did and taking advantage of you know, Brittany's family, and especially because we all know her dad was like very concerned about, you know, the financial situation, whereas Brittany's mom was really concerned about Brittany herself. She played on both sides and saw the opportunity and snuck in because she saw it as her big break or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, again, the Three of Cups and the Moon card talking about that there was a lot of shady, deceptive things that she did teaming up with people so that she could get what she wanted. Whew. So, Spirit. Should we know what's gonna happen to her currently? I know she resigned from any part of the conservatorship and um, managing Britney because she claimed that Britney's fans were giving her death threats and you know did all these awful things and stuff. But really, I mean, of course they were, but it's not like it wasn't happening before that. Um, because it was, it's just that spirit said it was like, oh shit, things are about to like really heat up. I better get my ass out of here and let Jamie be the one that's gonna take the fall for this. And if y'all was listening to the station head this morning, we were talking about how the devil will come and present himself to you, wrapped up as everything you ever wanted and needed. And then 
when he gets you to do his bidding, he's going to dip and leave you to clean up the mess. And feels like that's what this is. So, Spirit, what can we expect going forwards around her? Thank you. And there is a channel on um, here called Sloan, but with um, zero four instead of O A. And he broke down a lot of interesting stuff that people don't, you know, know or catch on to. So that's a really good channel to watch too. And I didn't realize Megan Trainer is, you know, one of her clients. And then. He was showing how Megan Trainer went from being like, I love Brittany to always using every excuse she could to kind of shade her or whatever. So, I'm like, girl, you better watch your back before you end up in a conservatorship. All right, so I don't have any like feelings towards Megan Trainer one way or the other. I'm just like, that doesn't sound like a good thing if that's your manager and she's getting all these people's rights taken away from them. So, it, right now, she's actually the most concerned about her financial situation. Even though she does have other clients and she has this whole, um, you know, basic business that she's built up, it is still a concern for her because obviously between having to walk away from Britney Spears, who's obviously a huge money maker, um... And then on top of it, you know, worrying, like she's very worried that all of the information that is being brought to light is going to come back, you know, bad upon her. Like, are all my other client clients going to quit? Like, oh my God, what's going to happen? You know, she's very focused and worried on the money and trying to figure out what she can do to keep it, you know, coming in and to keep things going and not lose her shirt and lose everything that she feels like she worked for. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like with this magician card and this king of coins, this is Jamie. They're going to end up throwing each other under the bus, trying to blame the other. You know, right now, Jamie's trying to court the um, the court of public opinion and trying to be like, no, you guys don't understand what's going on with Brittany. You have no idea. And she needs me and I'm protecting her and blah, 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 blah. But he's really aware that, you know, his time is going to come too. like they all are. That's what's crazy is what Spirit's saying. Everybody that has played a part in what has happened to her they thought they were going to get away with it forever but now they're really starting to see we might be in some trouble because we have this page of swords and this ten of swords coming up after this death card and <laughs> the moon and the four of wands the truth coming out what's been done in the dark coming to light the Palace of Swords, this is not about, oh my God, we have all this communication. This is about literally people making noise, people demanding things, people being like, something has to be done and it feeling like it's some kind of an attack against them, but really it's just a defense, right? Brittany has a lot of ancestral and spiritual angelic energy around her with this temperance card and this high priestess. And the Nine of Wands helping her, helping her to get through this, helping her to get out of this, helping to bring her to justice, help get her away from these people. Thank God. I feel so bad for her. I really do. And you know what's scary as shit? You know, because let's face it, you know, when you are a wealthy white woman, woman you have a lot of privilege. So if somebody as privileged as her or Amanda Bynes can end up in this situation, it could literally happen to anybody. I mean, that's what's terrifying. Okay. Can you please tell me, is she gonna go to jail behind this? Thank you. Spirit, please 
combination of my jelly hair and so much. But I also think that this is um, highlighting that basically like the whole legal injustice system overall needs to be completely reformed. Because, you know, all these lawyers have come out and saying, well, we've never seen anybody get out of conservatorship and this and that. And it's like, that's terrifying. That's a life prison sentence just because you had a bad moment or... <laughs> Yeah, she's definitely going to go to jail behind this and she won't see it coming. She really thinks that the worst thing that's going to happen is her losing her business, losing money, people not wanting to work with her, people not effing with her no more. But again, here comes the spiritual guidance. Brittany's ancestors are pissed. God help her and Jamie, I swear, because they're going to really, really have some badass karma and bad ancestral curses coming their way. Okay, so let's just ask real quick. This won't happen this year, you guys. It feels more like... I keep getting like fall time and then next year, like especially the first like three, four months of 2022, there's going to be a lot going on in court in regards to Britney's conservatorship and then Amanda Bynes's as well. And then I feel like as we get into more like after that, you know, with all the stuff that's going to be coming out, I feel like probably more next summer, maybe spring that's when we're really going to start seeing them really taking a look at her and investigating her and finally doing something. Spirit, please tell me, is Brittany's dad going to face any kind of legal consequences, jail or otherwise, for what he has done to Brittany? Thank you, Spirit. I already did a whole entire video on what's coming in her conservatorship, guys, so I'm not touching that part. I'm literally just asking about you know, will justice be served? And please, you guys, before you go asking me to make videos on stuff, I have over 200 videos uploaded. So please, please, please check because I've touched a lot of the things that you guys ask for and request. And I don't do update readings because if nothing's happened, there's no reason to. And if something's happened, then that's gonna be a completely fresh, different reading. And I don't do update readings for clients either because it's just a waste of time and encouraging us to hold on to something that's not healthy. Yeah. See, as the truth is revealed with the sun and the moon card seven of pentacles eight of swords <laughs> people are looking at you and that's another card of jail imprisonment whatever you want to call it yeah see him and the people that he he's worked with fighting for their freedom but it's not gonna work Brittany's gonna get her justice guys oh thank god thank god as far as the people who hurt her putting you know having to deal with stuff I also feel Larry Rudolph coming under fire too and having to deal with some shit as well because he played a big part in all of that as well so guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. At least these people are going to have to face something because they basically have just held that girl against her will for the last 13 years. Anyways, I love you all so very much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye guys.